Paul, if you're right, what do you do about it? So as an investor today, based on what you're talking about, we haven't seen that sell off yet. Maybe people are going to wait uh, to, to see what the actual election portends. Uh, would, you, would you try to get ahead of that? Um, how, how, how would you trade it, if you will? <laughs> uh, I, I've been unfortunately trying to get ahead of it for far too long in the past few weeks, and it's been wrong. Um, again, and the reason why I prefaced all of this by saying we're going to have so much volatility, you're going to also have passed at some point in the next six to eight weeks, or 12 weeks, you're going to have the first stimulus package, which is going to be around $1.7 trillion. That'll probably be uh, effective sometime in the first quarter of next year. And sometime in February, let's say, you're going to have $700 billion, February and March, not $700 billion. The total package, let's say, will be $700 billion that will ultimately end up in the bank accounts of, uh, of Americans. And we saw what happened when that happened last April and May. Robin Hood Nation, the other Robin Hood Nation, uh, went crazy and bought stocks. Um, and so you're going to have, at some point in the first quarter next year, you're going to have a big move to the upside from whatever level that might be uh, as people get cash from this first stimulus program and they deploy that in a variety of financial assets, which could be stocks and bonds. So it's going to be really tricky. I could easily see a situation where the market sells off into year end, and then you have that typical beginning of the year rally that might ramp all right. the way through the, the end of the first, certainly into the mid part of the first quarter. All of that. Paul, when we end, go ahead. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.